founder come from aviation where quality is everything. When he founded this company, he instilled those measures of having aircraft quality welds on the exhaust parts. Uh, very technical TIG welding by hand. The marine industry is kind of recession proof. The problem we're having is we can't find workers. We're dealing with some of the finest boat builders, naval architects, engine companies in the world. The last thing I want to do is promise them the world and be two weeks too late. We were biting off more than we can chew. Oof. At the worst point, we're about 65 days behind our normal lead time. And that is unacceptable. So when we had the Cobot and we started it in our prefabrication department, we went right back to baseline in a matter of weeks. It was that fast. And that's us using maybe 10% of what we can. I had first heard about these Cobots coming out now, everybody's got one. It seems like it would be a good idea. I had sent out parts to about seven of the big welding companies to see if they can do a demo weld and show me that their Cobot is good for my applications. And a lot of those companies, which are the bigger companies that you would know, just struggling to send me back parts that match our quality. So I was beginning to lose faith. That's when the gentleman at Universal Robot had said, why don't you talk to the Robotics? And I was already at this point in the game figuring, ah, I'm just wasting my time here. Now I'm just sending out parts for nothing. And you know, Matt over at Higher Robotics would text me right away. Justin, got your parts. You want me to do them right now? I could send you a picture in four minutes. Come on. I've been going back and forth with the biggest welding company in the world for four months and I can't get a part. Four minutes later, a picture of a part, fully welded, no gaps, looked good to me. I said, okay, I need to make a trip over to Nashville and check this out for myself. When I went there, I said, if you can get me welding this part in the one day that I'm there, I'm buying the machine. I said, Justin, I'll have you welding parts in 20 minutes. True to his word, 20 minutes later, I'm running parts like I've been running robots my whole life. What really has me excited about the Cobot is the speed. We do everything by hand, TIG weld, that's an art. That's two to five inches a minute if you're good. We have the Cobot dialed in doing 20 inches a minute, and that's cranked down. Two inches a minute, 20 inches a minute. That's how much capacity now I've gained. Usually you have to go through months of an ROI. I spent zero time doing that. The day that we were installing the Coba, we had received a large order from the Coast Guard. Now that part roughly requires 200 inches of welding altogether. Five welds that need to be done in a sequence. I'm using my TIG welding by hand. That's 100 minutes to do one. But if I'm doing my 20 inches a minute, that's 10 minutes to do one. That one order paid for my first Cobot. We will absolutely be getting more. Uh, our seven lead fabricators, the goal is to have a Cobot with a UR arm on all their fabrication tables. We're known for the big high-end stuff. If I want to break into some of those first fit manufacturers to where you buy the engine, my part's already on it, I've got to bring my price down significantly. When you're dealing with a big engine manufacturer, they're not trying to pay premium custom fabricated part prices, right? And to do that, you need to jump like two inches a minute to 20. Once one figures out, oh, D'Angelo can do this now. Now I don't need more Cobots. I need a bigger building. 